So I'm working on the banjo today. The owner wants, he wanted a fifth string capo, like the spikes that you put in the fretboard. It's just like a little hook and you let them stick up about, uh, not well enough to get this string under it and that capo's that string right there. So, you know, if you got a capo on here at the second fret, then you want to be able to capo it, you know, from this little nut here down to this second fret. Or if you got a capo on the third fret, you want to come down here to the third fret with your capo. Or you can just put a whole capo across all of them down here. I don't, haven't seen many do that. And I have a whole shit ton of those uh, spikes. I can't find them, man. I've looked two or three days for them. But I have this. There's some little tiny screws in there I do not want to lose. So let me see if I can get this thing out without damaging it. And loosen those tiny little screws. I'll explain this in a minute for those of you that never saw one of these. Probably if you're a guitar player, you've never seen one of these in your life. Probably. Which end did I take? You know what? It don't matter, man. Just get them out. Tiny little bastards, too. And they're in another bag. Wow. I'll make sure I didn't lose these. They were going to make sure of it. I'll get those out in a minute. <laughs> okay. Here's what the capo looks like, if you can see that. This is the, the capo part right there. It sits on the string. And it goes, it's got, it's going to have some spring down force on it. Not very much. Because it don't take very much. And you just slide this piece up and down this entire shaft, you see. i got to determine where on here. I like to put it where it's not capoing at all, you know. But it starts to capo. Maybe I'm going to have to remove that nut. But I can't do that because it holds the string. And directs it to go toward the key, so I can't do that. And I got to figure out, I can't find any uh, directions with this, so I don't know what those screws are. They are tiny, though, man. If I can make you see them. Check that out, how little those are. <laughs> I mean, they are little. Man, I might not even have to drill for those. I figured I would have to. But we got to determine where we're going to put this jewel at. See, it's got two hole, hole in each end of it. And it's got to go up here where it doesn't affect the string at all. You know, I can't put it right there on the first fret. Because if he plays anything from there down and use it's going to make this string note one fret back that way <laughs> than what it should be. It's just going to change, you know, chords and scales and melodic and chromatic things he might do. Uh, so I gotta figure out how to get it, this above that nut, I guess. Like that. Yeah, that's gonna work. I'll see how I can do it. Alright, let me get everything marked up here. Uh, I gotta figure out what size these screws are. Man, those are tiny. They look like, they look like wood screws. They're really very sharp on the tip, so I don't know. Maybe I won't have to drill at all. I'd like to drill a little hole in it first. Uh, anyways, we'll see. Hold on. Let me turn this camera off and gather my very small collection of thoughts. I'm getting blown away by a windstorm tonight and heavy rain, heavy, heavy rain. Terrible weather outside. All right, because I don't have enough hands here, and this thing is spring-loaded, I knew that was gonna happen. I gotta put one screw at a time in it. One little screw at a time. Good luck with that, right? <laughs> the way I shake. Sorry I can't show you. 
Folks, this, I can barely see it myself. I'm gonna have to get magnifiers on, hold on. All right, so I got one in it. The camera was not running. After I dropped it about 500 times, I went and got this magnetic thing, tray, screwed. I can't even pick it up. There it goes, it sticks in there. So I figured I'm gonna drop this one about 500 times. Uh, what I did was, it's spring loaded, so I pulled it down to where I needed it and clamped it, okay? That held it in place till I just, I just punched a hole out in, in the neck there. Did the same thing up here already. And it's in perfect place. Uh, these screws look like little wood screws. I, you don't even have to drill for that. Hopefully I can get lucky and put this one in. Same way. If I do drop it, I'm hoping it'll go into that little tray. Instead of bouncing off and going in the floor. I'll never find it, man. They are so, so very tiny. I can just barely see the things. They're so small. And there we go. I don't want to strip that. I didn't tighten this one up. Wow, first time. <laughs> that don't happen enough. Well, there she is, I think. Uh, I'll show you how the thing works. I got to change glasses here because I had to put on some really high powered ones to see those little bastards. I used to have one of these things on one of my banjos. Okay, you slide it. If you got your capo on the second fret, you want to slide this down to the second fret. Hopefully, you can see that. Put your capo on the second fret, and it's in tune. I'm going to have to clip it off so it's, it's hitting the fourth string. So I'm going to have to cut the end of it back a little bit. That'll be an easy fix if I can find the right tool. Uh, right here, I think. I'll do it. I think. Down here where I can see, I may have put those big glasses back on again. That did it. I think. It sounded like it. Maybe it just slipped out. Maybe it did just slip out. Uh, wow. I don't think you could have got that, man. Hell, shit. I may have to take it off. It, it works. Oh, maybe you can adjust. Yeah, you can pull it out away from the screen. needs cut off well I got another pair of these but I don't think they're as sharp as that pair is I don't think nope they're not all right well I'm gonna turn the camera off figure out how I'm gonna shorten that little bastard if you capo on the fourth fret One, two, three, four. I got it out of tune. So if you keep over here on the fourth fret, you want to pull this one, two, three, four frets down. One, two, three, four. And it should be in tune. And it is. So that works. We just got to figure out some way to cut that off. So I'll be back when I figure that out. All right. I got to cut off <laughs> manually the way I usually do things. That doesn't work right. Okay. Let's see if it works. We put a capo on the second fret. That would be A. See that string's out of tune. So you can slide this down two frets. It's in tune. Third fret, you just slide this down one more. And the fourth fret. And that's how she works. Then when you take your capo off, slide it all the way back. I'll tune a little bit. That's one of the old peg tuners that it's not geared. There's no gear in it. Completed.
Oh, he's going to be digging this. Woo! Before we go, check this out. I just saw this laying there. Check that out, man. That's a piece of wood <laughs> that come off of a bridge plate on one guitar I had in here. Where the pins come out of the bridge plate. It was completely ripped out. Laying in the guitar. I don't remember what guitar it was. Maybe you guys, some of you can remember. I don't remember, but I remember looking in there and it, it was all busted, all the crap inside me. I don't know what guitar it was. Uh. All right, there you have it, good bodies. I know somebody's going to ask what this is. It's a Harmony. I don't know if you can see it that far away, but it's a Harmony banjo. No back on it, no resonator. I don't think it's even got a tone ring. It's got a wood rim for a tone ring. Very old banjo. Very, very much old. And now he can play it all the way up the neck if he wants to with a capo. Or when he capos it. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Maybe you've never seen one of these before. Uh, I've, I've put them on my own banjos before. That old RB250 Gibson that I gave my son. When I learned to play on, actually. My dad bought it in 1959 in March. And, uh... We always thought it was a 59 model. Found out later about a serial number. It was a 56, I think. Anyways, I put one of these on it. And then later took it out and put the spikes in. And then it had two holes. I'm going to maybe do a video someday plugging those holes up. So they're still in there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, he's going to be digging this. Woo! The boogity pop.